Blessed is this holy man, who was worthy to be numbered among the apostles, for he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today the Church keeps the Feast of Saint Barnabas, a Christian in the early Church in Jerusalem, recorded in the Scriptures as someone who first comes on the scene with an act of great charity, selling property in order to contribute to the Church. Barnabas became a member of the Church, a member of that body of apostles, those who sent out to preach the Word of God. It was then that he began his connection with Saint Paul, and the two of them would be travelling companions on Paul's missionary journeys. Tradition tells us that Barnabas ended his days back in his native Cyprus, where he faced a martyr's death. Though not one of the twelve, he is given the title Apostle, because he did what Jesus asks his disciples to do in the Gospel. He was sent out to proclaim the message of Jesus Christ to others. That work of evangelisation continues in the church to this day. All of us are called, each in our own way, to be apostles, people who are sent out by the Lord in order to proclaim his way, his kingdom. On this Feast of St Barnabas, therefore, let us ask for his heavenly protection and inspiration that we may be the apostles of today, helping others to hear the good news of Jesus Christ. As we prepare to celebrate this feast, we first call to mind our sins and ask for the grace of God's forgiveness. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who decreed that Saint Barnabas, a man filled with faith in the Holy Spirit, should be set apart to convert the nations, grant that the Gospel of Christ, which he strenuously proclaimed, may be faithfully proclaimed by word and deed, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A great number believed and were converted to the Lord. The church in Jerusalem heard about this, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. There he could see for himself that God had given grace, and this pleased him. And he urged them all to remain faithful to the Lord with heartfelt devotion. For he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. And a large number of people were won over to the Lord. Barnabas then left for Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. As things turned out, they were to live together in that church a whole year, instructing a large number of people. It was at Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. In the church at Antioch the following were prophets and teachers. Barnabas, Simeon called Niger, and Lucius of Cyrene, Menaean, who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. One day, while they were offering worship to the Lord and keeping a fast, the Holy Spirit said, I want Barnabas and Saul set apart for the work to which I have called them. So it was that after fasting and prayer, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has made known his salvation to the nations. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation to the nations. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love 
for the house of Israel. The Lord has made known his salvation to the nations. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, ring out your joy. The Lord has made known his salvation to the nations. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known his salvation to the nations. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Go make disciples of all the nations, says the Lord. I am with you always. Yes, to the end of time. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, proclaim that the kingdom of heaven is close at hand. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, cast out devils. You received without charge, give without charge. Provide yourselves with no gold or silver, not even with a few coppers for your purses, with no haversack for the journey, or spare tunic, or footwear, or a staff, for the workman deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you go into, ask for someone trustworthy, and stay with him until you leave. As you enter his house, Salute it, and if the house deserves it, let your peace descend upon it. If it does not, let your peace come back to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We hear so often the idea that we are called to be a missionary church. We hear Pope Francis talking about the need for us to open the doors of our churches to go out into the world, to be missionary disciples. And our own Bishop John is constantly reminding us that this is what we need to do as we face the challenges and the changes in our society, in church attendance, in all sorts of different things. The call is for us to be missionary disciples. And that's why celebrating a feast like St Barnabas is so important, because we go right back to the beginning, to how the church began. We would not be here today in our faith, in our practice, in our beliefs, if it were not for people like Barnabas, who heeded the Lord's words and, putting risk to themselves to one side, went out into the world to proclaim the message of Jesus. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here today. So what we've got to think about is the future. We learn from the past. We take inspiration from those saints who've gone before us, from the earliest days of the church all through the past 2,000 years, so that we can say that we are part of this great journey. Each of us, in our own ways, looks at the, the ways in which we can proclaim Jesus. And it's probably not going to be with sermons or theology or tracts or Bible passages. Remember in the first reading, when we heard about St Barnabas's first mission to Antioch, as a representative of the Church of Jerusalem, we're told that a large number of people were won over to the Lord. But why? Because Barnabas was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. Not necessarily because of the sermons he preached or the debates that he entered into, because he was a good man, filled with the Holy Spirit and with faith. Let us ask that we can be the same, that we can be good people, filled with that same Holy Spirit, filled with faith, so that others may see in us the message of Jesus, and they too may be won over to the Lord. Let us think of the prayers that we bring to the Lord today. First, 
on this feast of St Barnabas. Let us pray for all who work to proclaim the gospel and also for all those who receiving that word choose to belong to the church. We pray for all converts, for their journey in faith, for their warm welcome. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On Thursdays, I'm inviting us to pray for all NHS workers, for all who work in health or care search situations, and for all key workers at the moment. Even as things change, even as things develop, let us pray for their continued resilience and strength in serving the needs of others. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And for a moment in silence, we each think of our own prayer. Most loving Father, who sent the Spirit into the hearts of believers so that they could proclaim the mysteries of Christ your Son, send that same Spirit into our hearts so that we too may give of ourselves to proclaim Jesus Christ to the world. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify with your blessing, we pray, O Lord, the offerings presented here, so that by your grace they may set us on fire with the flame of your love, by which St Barnabas brought the light of the gospel to the nations. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the host of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you first if your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and for those who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, Offer to your glorious majesty, from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance, and to accept them as once you were pleased, to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the Just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. 
Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercy, grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father.
Let's just pray. As we receive the pledge of eternal life, we humbly implore you, O Lord, that what we celebrate in sacramental signs on the memorial of the blessed apostle Barnabas, we may one day behold unveiled. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Dulcedo, et spes nostra salve. At te clamamus, exoles filii heve. At te suspiramus, gementes et flentes, in hac lacrimarum vale. Ea ego, advocata nostra, illos tuos, misericordes oculos, at nos converte. Et Jesum, benedictum fructum ventris tui, nobis post hoc exilium ostende. O clemens, O pia, O dulcis virgo, Maria